Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss, what is instruction format. The instruction format, is an important fundamental concept, in the computer architecture. In this tutorial, you will first learn, what is instruction, and, then we will discuss the main topic of this tutorial, that is, what is instruction format. You will also learn, other related important topics, such as what is instruction set architecture ISA after this, we will discuss, other important components instruction format, such as addressing mode, operation code, and the operand. Let us first start with, the simple definition of, instruction format. In computer architecture, the term instruction format is used, in the context of computer program, and, how processor executes the program instructions. The instruction format is defined as, standard machine instruction format, that can be directly decoded, and executed, by the central processing unit CPU. The instruction format, is simply a sequence of bits, contained in a machine instruction, that defines the layout of the instruction. This definition might sound a bit confusing but don't worry, once you understand the meaning of each term, understanding the concepts will be easy. Now, let us try to simplify and understand this formal definition. We will first start with understanding some basic concepts such as, what is a instruction, and, then we will discuss, what is instruction format. Every task performed by the computer, needs a program. In other words, the computer is driven by the, program instructions. A computer program, consists of set of instructions. The program instructions, direct the computer, to perform the specific task. Each program statement, performs a part of the intended operation. Each statement in the program is called as, program instruction. However, the central processing unit CPU of the computer, cannot directly execute, the program written in, any high-level language such as Python, C++ and Java. The processor can execute, only machine instructions in binary. The binary code consists of only two digits that is 0 and 1. And therefore, all computer programs are first compiled to binary format. The compiler translates, the high-level program statements, into its equivalent, machine instructions in binary format. In computer architecture, the instruction is defined as a machine instruction in binary that can be directly executed by the processor. After the program compilation, each program instruction in binary format, is called as machine instruction. The machine instructions can be directly decoded, and executed by the computer processor. If you have liked this video, then, then please give us a thumbs up, and, consider, subscribing, to this channel. Let us now move on to another important concept in computer architecture. And the next concept is, what is instruction format? The concept of instruction format is related to, how computer processor CPU, decodes and executes, the program machine instructions. The CPU stands for, Central Processing Unit. The CPU is the brain of the computer system, which provides, the processing power, to the computer system. The CPU controls, all the operations, performed by the computer system, including the activities necessary, to execution the program. The CPU decodes and executes the program machine instructions based on the instruction format. At this stage, the concept of instruction set architecture of the CPU also comes into picture. Each microprocessor architecture implements a specific instruction set architecture. And therefore, the processor can support only machine instructions that can be mapped to its instruction set architecture commands. In simple words, the instruction format helps the CPU, to find out the which operation to be performed, where is the data located, and, how to reach to the data. The instruction format provides, all this information to the processor. In order to execute the instruction, CPU needs to know three things. In instruction format, the bits are grouped together in three parts called the fields. The first part of the instruction format is called the address mode. The second part of the instruction format contains the operation code opcode. And the third part of the instruction format is called operand. The operand contains either the data or the memory address of the data. Let us now study each of the three fields of instruction format in detail. The first field of the instruction format is addressing mode. 
The data that is to be operated by the CPU can either be stored in the main memory RAM, or it can be located in the CPU register. The addressing mode is the third field in the instruction format, represented by the 16th number single bit. For example, in 16-bit instruction format, the addressing mode is represented by the 16th bit. The addressing mode directs the CPU to locate the data operand, as specified in the machine instruction format. The next field of the instruction format is opcode. The opcode stands for operation code. During the program execution, the instruction is fetched into the instruction register. The instruction register, IR. The instruction register is a 16-bit register, and a part of the IR is used to store the operation code. For 16-bit instruction format, the group of 3 bits with number 12, 13, 14 indicates the operation code. The operation code opcode is decoded by the decoder of the control unit. The control unit is one of the three important component of the microprocessor architecture. The control unit decodes the opcode, as per the instruction set architecture of the CPU. The control unit generates the control signals for the ALU to execute the desired operation on the data. The next field of the instruction format is operand. In computing, the operand part of the instruction format specifies either data or the address of the data that needs to be operated by the processor. After decoding the instruction, the next thing CPU needs to know is the data on which the operation is to be performed, as per the operation code. The operand can either contain the data or the address of the data. The addressing mode value directs the CPU to fetch the data. If the value of the addressing mode is zero, then it is referred as direct referencing. For direct referencing, the operand contains the data. Whereas, if the value of the addressing mode is 1, then it is referred as indirect referencing. For indirect referencing, the operand contains the reference to the memory address that points to the actual data that needs to be operated by the CPU. Alright, let us now quickly summarize the instruction format. In computer architecture, the term instruction format is used in the context of computer program and how processor executes the program instructions. In simple words, the instruction format helps the CPU to find out the which operation to be performed, where is the data located, and how to reach to the data. Please read the detailed article on our website, learncomputersciencealonline.com, for more details. That brings us to the end of this tutorial, and in this tutorial, we have discussed what is instruction format. We also discussed the important fields of the instruction format such as addressing mode, operation code and the operand. If you have liked this video, then, please give us a thumbs up, and, consider, subscribing, to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with, another computer science video tutorial.